Welcome to Lifters Club. In this video, I will talk about some impressive performances that have been done recently. Wayne Van Ostrand is 53 years old. He is interested in both bodybuilding and powerlifting. He recently participated in a competition and managed to become the champion in that competition. It must be pretty cool for this 53 year old guy to leave the young man behind in a competition. This competition he participated in was not a professional rules-based bench press competition. Therefore, the touch and go technique was used. Wayne comfortably did 625 pounds in the touch and go bench press and did 635 pounds in his last attempt, which seemed like his maximal. Although it was very difficult, he overcame it and did not fail. The thing that caught my attention in this man's bench press technique is the grip style he uses. Instead of holding the bar with his whole hand, he leaves his thumbs behind, so he does this grip called the suicide grip. I think it's a pretty risky technique because there's an increased risk of the bar falling off the hands. Especially people who have reached very high weights in the bench press such as Wayne should pay more attention to this issue. Otherwise, if these huge weights fall on him, his life will be at risk. In fact, in my opinion, using two spotters on both sides at close to maximum weights in the bench press is the most guaranteed method and of course the safety arms too. Congratulations to Wayne. At his age, he inspires many older people to start lifting with his muscle mass and strength. It looks like we will soon see him do the 7 plate 675 pound bench press. If he does that, he will probably be one of the few people in the world to bench press 300 kilos. Another incredible athlete is the powerlifter Nicola Du Perez, who looks like a bodybuilder as most of you know. In the badless roll lifts he has reached an incredible level in the recent days. He is 28 years old and he is one of the powerlifters with the lowest body fat percentage and has one of the most impressive physiques. Let's take a look at his latest figures. He is squatted 860 pounds without a belt. That's an insane amount of weight. It is very difficult for a person to even hold such a weight on his back at any body weight. Nicola can squat this weight without even using a belt. This might be one of the most impressive beltless squats in the world. Also, as far as I know, this is the world's heaviest beltless squat at his body weight. For those who don't know, his body weight is 275 pounds. If you look at his deadlift, he lifted a huge weight of 880 pounds without a belt and without straps, just like in the squat. I wouldn't call this lift easy, but maybe he could do 900 pounds. These beltless deadlifts remind me of the legendary powerlifter Konstantin Konstantinos beltless deadlifts. Maybe Nikola will one day reach a 925 pound deadlift without a belt. Working without a belt sometimes gives good results. If you are in the off season like Nikola for example, it's a good option to improve your beltless maxes, improve your technique and discover and strengthen your legging areas and maximize your poor row strength. So when you go back to using equipment like a belt and knee wraps, you will feel much stronger than before. If these are done with a good powerlifting program and a coach, they will give even better results. According to Nicola, he will be working with lighter weights for the next two weeks to give a rest to his tendons, joints, muscles and nervous system and then he will go back to lifting heavy weights. I think he can reach a 1000 pound squat in 2023. We will see that in the upcoming months. The other athlete is Jack. He is an undiscovered powerlifter who is 15 years old and has only 140 followers on Instagram. This is the 405 pound bench press video he did at the age of 15 that made me discover him. I think he is the first 15 year old athlete to do it row at a body weight as low as 175 pounds. There are people who will criticize the technique he used in the set of 4 plates, but the fact that his hips are off the bench doesn't make his lift unimpressive. Lifting the hips off the bench may cause failure in an official bench press competition, but it still shows how strong he is. It probably only helps by making the lift easier by 10 pounds. This kid will probably reach 5 plates in the bench press as touch and go in a year or two. If I look at Jack's deadlift and squat, I can say that he's very advanced on the bench because he can deadlift 565 pounds row without using straps on a stiff bar. In the squat, he lifted 510 pounds in the past few days, which is 3 times his body weight. It is both very impressive and very interesting that he can do all this at the age of 15, 
when the body is just starting to strengthen and mature. I hope he doesn't suffer any injuries and misfortunes and achieves his goals. His best competition figures are a 486 pound squat, a 355 pound bench press and a 541 pound deadlift roll. The last athlete is Julius Maddox. As you know, Julius is the most powerful bench presser in the world. No other athlete has been able to officially come close to the raw bench press figures this man has been doing for years. And his only rival is himself at this point. Julius' goal this year as every year is to bench press 800 pounds raw in competition. He had been training lightly for a while, but for the last month he started training again with heavier weights and in a very short time he reached 8 reps with 530 pounds. Moreover, he did the set with a pause. Of course, this weight is very light for Julius, but it takes a time to reach heavy weights. The human body cannot be at its strongest all the time. I was thinking that Julius could do 800 pounds in the raw bench press in his last competition, and I thought he was strong enough. The reason why he failed in my opinion is that it was not his good day, so maybe he had the potential to hit that figure with better rest on a better day. But sometimes we can even fail a weight easily lifted in previous workouts. Since the human body doesn't work like a machine, such fluctuations in performance and strength are very normal. If this time Julius gets to a much better level in pure strength, I think there is no way 800 pounds can escape him even on a bad day. I look forward to new records he will set this year. My expectation from him is 815 pounds in the bench press in competition or at the gym this year. Reaching such a figure will truly be the most impressive lift in the world. His age is now 35 and he has a body weight of around 450 pounds. His upper body muscle mass and size is huge. You obviously need an enormous upper body to play with 300 kilos on the bench like Julius does. That's it for the video. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe.